Hi everyone, Olivia here. Welcome to the first week of the cleanse. You know, this time around, Dr. Chung and I really wanted to give you the opportunity to go a little bit deeper with the cleanse. And we're not just going to talk about um, food this time, but we're going to be talking about some uh, emotions uh, this time. The theme of this cleanse is going to be choice. Right? And it's very easy to see, well, we're choosing to eat differently. Every single day, multiple times a day, we're going to be choosing to reach for celery and carrots instead of bread, <laughs> right? But I wanted to uh, bring your attention to this feeling of choice and your relationship with choice. Sometimes we don't feel like we have a choice in things. We feel like the consequences um, are, are too dire to choose any differently. Or we feel so emotionally compelled, we don't feel in control of our choices. Okay? And a very common one is when we're under a lot of stress and we come home and we have to have that glass of wine, we have to have that piece of chocolate, we have to have that slice of bread, right? And these are ways that uh, keep us from doing the cleanse successfully. Or even if we get through the cleanse, we'll go right back to eating the way that we were eating. So I wanted to give you some reflection questions in order to help you change your relationship to choice. And what I mean by this is that we have patterns in our lives. And we see them out in our outer world, right? We always react the same way to a particular person, right? Maybe when your spouse does something, your parents do something, your kids do something, and we have the same reaction. And then they respond in their own habitual way as well, right? So we see patterns, right? We know what's going to happen when, when, when this person says this thing or does that thing. We know that we're going to feel this way or that way because that is the pattern that we're locked into. Right? We even see it in when the not, not the same people. You change jobs and yet your boss seems like the same person, right? Or you change relationships and you have the same problems with a different person. Or you're picking people that are so similar that they are triggering, activating the patterns that are internal. And so it doesn't matter if you stop talking to one person in order to get away from this pattern. Because if you don't address the internal pattern, that same person is going to come in a different guise. Or someone else is going to say the same thing. So, I am giving you a couple of reflection questions throughout the, the weeks here. Um, one question a week. And they're very simple questions. But I hope that you can take the opportunity to really take the time and reflect upon them. And they're going to be questions that are um, going to help you notice what's happening in your outer world. And when we begin to notice what's happening in our outer world, when noticing these patterns, then we have the opportunity to bring these patterns that are in internal into awareness because they're often unconscious and we can't feel like we have a choice if they're unconscious because they're driving us from behind the scenes and we don't feel like we can choose any differently so the first week's question is what do you spend your time doing what do you choose to do throughout the week. And this is a big one for the cleanse because meal prepping and setting yourself up in order to be successful for the cleanse is really important. And it takes time. 
And if we don't choose to take the time to set ourselves up for success, if we choose to prioritize other things over this, then it becomes really difficult or you're just really hungry <laughs> all the time because you, you cheat yourself. So this week, I want you to notice what you're choosing to do. And even outside of the cleanse, right? are you choosing to do things that support your happiness, support your well-being, and support your joy? Um, or are you choosing to feel obligated? Do you feel obligated, right? Because when we feel obligated, there's no choice. There's no feeling of choice, but I promise you that there is another choice. But we first must bring awareness to why, what exactly it is we feel obligated to. And see what is uh, rooted internally that makes us think that way. Okay, that's enough for today. I will post another video next week talking about um, our next question, please feel free to either comment below with questions or a message or email us at kimchunglac at gmail.com. We're really here to support you. And it's always helpful to, um, to, to post what you're experiencing on the cleanse. A lot of people are having similar experiences and when other people see that you are experiencing something similar, uh, it, it becomes a really beautiful supportive community and, um, and, and then it's easier to, to recognize these things because we realize that we're not alone. And of course, uh, private details can always remain private, but I really encourage you to share some insights that you have throughout the week and throughout the weeks. So again, please feel free to reach out uh, with any questions or if you need any support, and we are here for you. Good luck, everyone.